The Omicron variant is shutting down Dothan schools. Cases are skyrocketing and with more than a thousand students and teachers out sick, the district is sending them home for a week, closing its doors to in-person learning. The story broke first on WDHN earlier today and Allison Polk is live in the newsroom now with the latest. Sylvie, the district says it's dealing with staffing and substitute shortages based on an increased number of confirmed cases and exposure to COVID-19. Today, they announced to temporarily close the buildings and switch their students to remote learning for a short time. With 180 staff members and more than 1,200 students out due to COVID-19, Dothan City Schools has shut down all their schools and moved to remote learning as more sickness spreads throughout the district. When we came back last week, our numbers every day pretty much doubled uh, with the number of students that, that, and staff that we had out. So we've been watching this very carefully. We feel like at this point, the, with the number of cases that we have, coupled with the lack of staff, that it's just better to go to a remote learning setting for the remainder of the week. Just Monday afternoon, DCS announced that they were shutting down transportation to certain schools due to staffing shortages. Those shortages have spread to all areas of the school, including substitutes, making it difficult to continue in-person learning. When you get to that point, you know, you're faced with either closing down individual classes or combining classes. Well, that doesn't do anything but exacerbate the problem of the virus. The announcement of the school closings and the transportation issues has some parents worried about juggling work and taking care of their children as they begin learning from home. This, it's a struggle for me because of, you know, my work schedule is hard to get off. I'm really not sure what's happening, but I really hope everything works out very soon for the, you know, the Delta City Schools. The closure will remain in effect until next Tuesday, January 18th. DCS will continue to monitor the situation, but hopes this is a temporary measure. And meals will not be provided during this temporary closure, but all athletic events will continue as scheduled. Sylvie.